So, Seattle fans, you want to let Russ cook, huh? You want to let Russ cook, why not get a developmental player that can fit your offensive line, tag him in, and he's your starting left tackle of the future, if he's developed correctly. You want to let Russ cook, huh? Should the Seahawks trade for Andre Diller? Let's jump into this video. Here we go. Yo, YouTube is popping. It's your boy Big Play Slay here, coming back with another video. So today's video, we'll be talking about if Andre Diller fits the Seahawks offensive line. If he fits the Seahawks in general. What are we getting in this trade? And all these rumors and, you know, little speculations of him potentially being traded. Before we jump into this video, like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, turn those bells on so when I upload a video, you'll be instantly notified. Or I go live, you'll be instantly notified as well. Let's jump into this video. Um, Andre Dillard is a guy that has been in the leagues for about two to three years now. Um, you know, hasn't done too much, um, injuries, um, that is a part of the game, so I can't really, you know, just blame everything on that, um, but injuries is a big concern for this guy, um, you know, he's a bigger guy, you know, injuries are gonna, you know, derail on bigger guys, um, it's just a part of the game, it's just a part of, um, you know, genetics and stuff, you know, all that, you know, uh, all that or whatnot, um, but Andre Dillard is a guy that's been in the league for two years, two to three years now. Um, you know, he hasn't done too much. Um, he had that one uh, career, well, he had a couple career starts, but um, he started a couple games for the Eagles. Um, you know, that 2018, 2019 year, um, I believe it was that year when we went to the playoffs, um, I believe it was, um, with Wentz. Um, you know, that year that the whole Jadavian Clowney thing happened. Um, you know, that thing, that year. Um, but he played solid when he had those snaps. Um, he still wasn't li like that really good um, in terms of, you know, just playing good. He didn't do good. Um, but he played solid for a rookie offensive lineman. Um, that's what I will say. Um, did he play good? No, absolutely not. But, um, he played good for a rookie, um, because in terms of a rookie um, going into you know your career snaps against some of the best defenses uh, in the NFL is very hard. Um, but Andre Dillard uh, did what was good for a rookie, and he played solid minutes. Um, but he still needed development. Um, the last two years, he's been injured. Um, in terms of, you know, just staying on that field consistently, he hasn't done that. Um, do I blame it on him? Absolutely not. But some of it um, is because, you know, he's a bigger guy. Um, um, and, you know, some of that happens to bigger guys because it derails. Um, you know, it's going to catch up to them when they get older. Um, look at Jason Peters. It happened to him um, when he was, like, really athletic back in the day. Um, but it caught up to him. But I think... Um, Andre Dillard is a guy that if you can develop him correctly, he can be very good in this league. Um, he has to get out of his head. Um, you know, he has to get out of his brain. Um, just go play on that field and do it consistently good. Um, do what you do best. Um, and that is be a good blindside protector of the franchise quarterback. Um, or whatnot. Um, so protect the quarterback. Um, do it good. And do not make that many mistakes. Um, that's something Andre Dillard has done a lot in training camp. Um, Joshua beats a guy like crazy. Um, you know, that's something he has to work on. He has to work on not getting destroyed on the offensive. Well, the, you know, just getting destroyed um, on the line of scrimmage. He gets demolished um, as soon as that snap is called um, by the quarterback. Um, Joshua is a fast, you know, defensive end. Um, that also doesn't help that the fact that Andre Dillard's athletic, but he stays there and does um, absolutely nothing. He lets the guy beat him. Um, and that's exactly why Mylotta's better, because Mylotta, he can make up for some of that. Um, but uh, because, of, uh, because of his athleticism, 
Um, but I think Dillard makes sense for Seattle because they need that blindside protector for Russell Wilson. Um, you want to let Russ cook, um, as, as I said in the intro. Um, if you want to let Russ cook, then why not get a developmental player um, in Andre Dillard? Um, and I think he makes sense because you already added Gabe Jackson. Um, and why not get another developmental player in Andre Dillard? Uh, and I think Dillard makes sense for them because they need that uh, front five uh, on the offensive line to look really good for us. Um, if you want to let Russ, uh, Russell Wilson stay um, and not be so nagging all the time about uh, what they're doing um, in their front office, then go get another offensive lineman to make him feel like I should stay because they're building the, uh, uh, the trenches up for me to let me cook in the pocket. Um, and I think that's good um, for them. Um, and, if, and if they want to let him stay, he might as well just go build up in the trenches um, if you want to let the guy stay because you, you win big football games in the trenches. Um, the offensive line versus defensive line in the trenches in the playoff game is very important. So get Andre Dillard. I think they can develop him because um, they don't have a left tackle. He'll instantly get tagged in. So um, I'm going to end this video off right here, guys. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to the channel, like this video, and I'm out. Peace. Have a good day.